Alright, hey guys. So today I'm going to be doing a Minecraft tutorial based off of uh, one of Corrales' older tutorials on how to do a Range Rover. So basically, what I've done here is I've taken his basic original design from the video he did about six years ago and I've extended it to make it look like a Range Rover EWB. And I'm going to be showing how to do that. So the first blocks I would get are the wheels. And since, you know, on this one I used note blocks, um, most people probably won't have note blocks that vaguely resemble tires. So, probably gonna get some uh, black concrete and use that instead. That's what I'd use if I couldn't use note blocks or I think there might be another block like the uh, concrete powder. That one works as well. So then we're going to count at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then you leave the gap in the middle. Then you put the buttons on the bottoms. There. So now, might as well just do the base of the car, get that done with. For this I'll be using stone slabs. You could use any slab you wanted. Just depends on, you know, what color you want the car to be. There's plenty of different options you could do, but this is just what I choose. So now I'm gonna do uh, hoppers as exhaust pipes. And on this, you know, I made it have a dual exhaust. So we'll do that by placing this here, placing placing the hopper like that. So then it sticks out and makes it look like an exhaust pipe. Now that that is done, you can choose a color. So, but I just choose to do black concrete. So, place the black concrete here on the hoppers, and then in the middle, and then place the black concrete three, and then three on this side, and then on the front you will place it one, two, over the tops, and then right there, three. Then now, you can get some like a grill. In this texture pack, I use infested stone, but normally I just use a, uh, let me find it, a ladder, yeah, there. You could use a ladder, put it over a block, you know, and that does the job as well. So for the fenders, I'll be using granite to match my black theme on the car. Place two facing forward, two facing backwards, and then you can should probably keep those actually, so we can use them for the roof. And should be placing two more right here. Then we'll be placing one piece of black concrete on top of each of the stairs towards the rear. And now we will need windows. So you could use any color windows, but I choose to do uh, black for the sides to give it a tinted effect. And then I'll wait a second to do the front put the back glass right here then you'll take a trap door and put it on the top you could also use carpet if you want it to be thinner for the roof I'll be using granite slabs but at the moment I'm going to uh, find some seats for the interior and for that I'll just grab some stairs like I said with a few things in this video you can use you know anything you really want to it just depends on what color you want to do it as so I'll do a white interior with white stairs. And now, to kind of give it a steering wheel effect, you put a light turn in to make it look like a dashboard steering wheel area, you know, whatever you want to think of it. And then now we'll put the blue glass on top of it. And we'll start with the mirrors, put levers on each side. And then now put the black stained glass pane you know, to separate the color and make it look more like a mirror. Now that we've done that, we can put the roof on. So you're going to count out one, two, three, and then you do that by three. So three by three area. And then in the front, just to make it slope down a little more, make it look a little more realistic, I'll just put the same slab that I put on the back of it, or trap door, whatever you want to use. Now for the front, since it's looking a little weird, you're going to want to take 
black carpet or whatever color carpet you're using you know the body if it's white you'd use white carpet etc place that right there to fill in the weird gaps and that's the hood done so now it's gonna get to the decorating so the simulate door handles just put buns on the side of the car there and then put a bun for the trunk right here and now we're going to do the tail lights. So for the tail lights, get item frames. And what I'm using is red wool, but you can also use redstone blocks. Those look real good. And for the front, I'm going to reuse these item frames for the headlights. Now for the headlights, I'm going to be doing gray banners. And basically, you just flip them around to your desired location. Kind of make it look like that. And now I'm going to do the front bumper with some signs. And you could use, you know, whatever color signs. Just try and make it match the car as much as you can. And yeah, that's a wrap. That's what they look like. Now that it's done, this is the Range Rover EWB. And here is what I based it off of the original design. So basically, I just uh, extended it by a block. So that's it. Uh, I'll probably be doing some more car tutorials in the future. Oh yeah. See you guys.